So I wanted to show you me walking just Nina. Um, I do individual walks and um, I walk Zena and Nelly together as well, at least a few times a week. Although at the moment I'm not walking Nelly because she hurt one of her elbows, unfortunately today, racing down the stairs. She has a few joint problems anyway, and she just she's just <laughs> she's just too bouncy for her own good. So with Nelly, Nelly is food orientated always, and will respond to my voice mainly because of food. I like to kid myself it's because it's me but I mean that is part of it but it is food and I know that's what she's like whereas Zena she like to get a food treat for recall but she's more interested in both um, so it's good to know what drives your dog whether that be play, praise or food or a combination of the three or two so with Zena I always make sure that I have a ball with me or something to play with um, just to give her a little bit more incentive to do what I'm saying. Um, Nelly food as well. And if I lose the ball, she's normally good, but I feel more comfortable if I have a ball um, with ZZ. Just because <laughs> it's not as important when it's just her, but when she's with... When she's with Nelly, she can be quite protect protective if she thinks that another dog is being too dominant or aggressive in her eyes. Um, it hasn't led to anything ridiculously um, unwanted, but it's not great really. So it's nice to have something to distract. She hasn't been out in two days um, because she hurt her leg on her last walk. Bless her. I just seem to have dogs losing <laughs> doing losing there let's go let's go okay so let's go what i've said in my other videos is my command follow me kind of thing whereas uh, a pip of the whistle and come is come directly to me you will touch me uh, with a head um and you'll get a reward let's go is like oh let's go when we're changing uh changing direction or she's lagging behind or a bit too much in front so Yes. <laughs> Look at her. Where was I going with this? So yes, incentives. And she's a very good girl. But she does need to be more uh, mentally stimulated on walks. She's kind of left her own devices um, for too long. Then she will wander. She does always come back. Always. But um, now that she's older and knows her strengths and can be quite defensive around dogs not all um very overly dominant or ones that uh, will immediately bark at her normally one smaller than her because they're scared of her size which is fair enough and then i want to make sure she's always in my eyesight just so i can read her body language and the other dog's language body language and make sure that i'm in control of the situation that's the important thing to do so for example she's just run off well, she hasn't run off, but she's a bit too far ahead. So I'm going to wait to see if she's going to turn back of her own accord. And if she's not, we'll do it. Let's go. Good girl. So you see, I'm just calling her around me. I didn't call her to me. So that's okay that she didn't come to me. She's just in this direction. Whereas, Dina, come. Good girl. Who's a glow girl? Yeah, and I touched her. Oh, this is hard with one hand. You're a good girl. And cheese. I also mix up the treats. Uh, cheese. She likes Red Leicester. Uh, sprats. Uh, smoked sausage. Wafer ham. All sorts of things. Uh, pedigree treats. Things like that. Who's a good girl? Just gives a bit of variety, really. Um, you know, homemade liver cake either by myself or by friends, obviously not by friends at the moment. Um, the smellier the better usually, but carrying sprats around can be quite detrimental to my relationship because my partner says I stink. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's it. So keep things interesting and if you don't feel comfortable with your dog off the lead, you don't think they're going to respond to you then don't let them off the lead. Put them on a long lead. I always say with a long lead, so you're not expecting them to heal. Uh, so you're just walking like this, but she'd be attached to you. Then attach 
the lead to the harness. I think it's always good. Cece, let's go. Good girl. It's always good to have a harness on your dog, in my opinion. Uh, so if they get into any predicaments, fall into the water, um, anything like that, hurt themselves, you can hold them and also to attach a long lead. And I believe when you've got the lead attached to their neck, so um, in my case I use slip leads, um, that doesn't actually attach to their collar, it just loops over their neck. Um, then that means, okay, when we're in business, it's heel time. Okay, I also get them to heel without a lead, just to keep that, <laughs> just to keep that in their heads, uh, just to remind her, and remind myself, really. Um, but yes, if you don't feel confident with the dog's recall, don't let them off the lead, put them on a long lead. Um, don't expect them to heal when they're on the long lead attached to the harness. You don't want to confuse them. And if you are going to keep them on the lead, like I said, give them time where they're on the long lead so they can smell. Because the main purpose of a walk or hunt, as Jan Fennell would refer to it, she was about to pee then and stopped herself. <laughs> um, we haven't been along this stretch, see, so it's all very new. Um, it is smelling, mental stimulation. And that's a big part of the walk. Um, so... It's not just the exercise, it's, it's, it's the stimulation. So actually let them sniff. Let, you know, let them mark. I've noticed since mine have got older, so Zena's two and a half now, she marks like a male would. Um, and so does Nelly. So just let them do it. They're not doing any harm. Just walk a little bit slower. Or, to be honest with you, I just walk at the pace I want to and she gravitates around me. So yeah.